Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Megnius and welcome back to yet another episode of Kerbal Space Program. This episode is uh, quite long in the making, I've, I've been ignoring Kerbal Space Pro Program for a while and I feel really bad about that, I would like to apologize. I've been really busy with stuff as you may know and lots of YouTube glitches and stuff like that, but we are still going to play Kerbal Space Program and I felt that we were spending a little bit too much time in Kerbin's low Kerbin orbit I guess you could say. So I decided to modify our little fuel system here. This is our refueler for our space station. But I decided to put a little detachable satellite on the top. And we are going to attempt to take this to Val. To the Julian Moon Val. And hopefully we'll get this into a nice little orbit. Since we can get this into a low carbon orbit. This full orange tank. With uh, this beautiful little nuclear rocket engine yes that's what it is on the bottom i figured that this thing can probably make it to the julian moons probably so we're gonna go ahead and test that out today so i've already made it everything's okay it's the same design as before so we're just gonna we're just gonna save this beep and we're gonna launch the val satellite launcher clear the launch pad i don't need any of that debris i have no idea how long this episode is going to be because it's been quite a while since i visited jewel so uh yeah, I'm probably going to have to do some editing. I'm probably going to be up all night tonight. It's it's unfortunate, but oh well. Oh well indeed, my, my subscribers, they need their Kerbal Space Program fix. Okay, everything seems to be okay. SAS. Throttle up. And... Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift off! Alright, and... We're off. I wonder if I can remember how to get this stuff into orbit correctly. Let's slow down just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, sigh. The drag of an atmosphere. It, it's, it drags. It stinks. I hate it. Drop. Get up to 200 meters per second, and then hold there. Definitely want to get out of this atmosphere as soon as possible, but the drag, the drag is terrible. If I used MechJab, this would be really easy, and I would probably make a lot more videos for you guys. But unfortunately, I'm uh, sort of into the whole legit plan thing. I, I really... Actually, I wonder if I can take two of the engines off of these, because, like, I have I have more than enough thrust. Okay, now, now we can start tipping over. I have more than enough thrust. And drop. Look, we're above 10,000. We should be able to increase this quite a bit, actually. Ah! Too strong, too strong. Try to stay on the line. Oh, God, what am I doing? Okay, let's keep it there. Okay, let's just let's just keep that there. And how are we doing on that orbit? We're doing okay. It's not bad. Not bad. I can appreciate this. It seems to be going okay. Once this falls off though, I'm gonna have to put down my speed just a little bit because Oh no! Oh, what just happened? Oh, what was that? I don't even know what just happened, but we're gonna- we're just gonna let that- Everything seems to be okay. Maybe. Some- some random explosions. Oh, our nose cones exploded, that's what it was. Oh, what in the world? Why did our nose cones explode? What in the world? Okay, uh... Okay, that- that's- that's definitely more than enough. Alright, so... Let's get this here. Okay, that's... That's good enough for me. And... I think that's that's quite enough. Let's go ahead and... Try to get this down a little bit, because this is this is not very good for... Our Oberth effect. Getting too far away from Kerbin is, is not exactly a good thing. So let's just bring this down a little bit. Let's try to stay on that equator. 
please and thank you. Is this still going up or is it going down? It's still going up for some odd reason, even though I'm pointing down. Probably because we're going up like this, but as we level out, this is probably gonna make me make my AP go down a bit. And that's that's precisely what I want. Our orbit is still extending. How much fuel do we have? Looks like we have sort of plenty of flu. Fuel? Flu? I don't know the words that are coming out of my mouth. Oh, well. Should I be doing this? Should I be conserving my fuel? Let's go ahead and get closer and let's turn off our engine for now. Uh, we are going way, way, way out of here, so let's go ahead and get closer. Uh, please don't tell me that I'm not going to make it to orbit. That would not be good at all. Keep the orbit, keep the orbit. I think we're good. I think we're good. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, sigh. I really don't want to have to use my... My nuclear engine. Okay, good, good. Oh, 109 and 96. That... Okay, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough, I guess. Alright, so... I guess I'm gonna keep this one for just a little bit, because it does have some extra fuel in it, so I guess I can use it anyway. We will be right back as I attempt to get a jewel intercept, hopefully from Kerbin, although that may not be possible. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, we shall be right back. Hello, everyone, and we're back. We are uh, somewhat near Jewel. Uh, that took about an hour to get this intercept because I was busy doing other things as well, but we have this intercept with Jewel. We have about half of our fuel left. We have lots of mono propellant, and we're about 32 minutes from an encounter with Jewel, and I don't want to be using my time warp when I cross over this because that can screw up our our periapsis, which is currently 110 kilometers, which is perfect for arrow breaking, and I totally want to show you guys arrow breaking, so we're going to try not to screw that up, because I really don't want to mess around with this orbit anymore. This has taken forever. Oh, the things, the things that I do for YouTube. All right, this isn't too bad, and... Let's get it down to 10 seconds. Da -da 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 -da. So the moon that we're going to attempt to go to today is called Val. It is one of the ice moons, or I guess the only ice moon of Jewel. Uh, it's, it's sort of based, I guess, perhaps on Europa. But, I mean, Europa could also be the, uh, the inspiration, and probably is the inspiration actually for Elu. Elu looks amazingly like Europa, but anyway. Let's see, what is the... Yes, this is a wonderful periapsis. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use Time Warp, because I want to hurry up and get into the Jewel system, because, wow, the Jewel system is really far away from us, despite the fact that we're in here. Uh, I don't want to go that fast. Just, just a little bit. Okay, so, the plan... The plan is that we're going to basically skip through the atmosphere of Jewel, hopefully giving us a somewhat, actually, a... I really want to change this because this this does not give us the kind of orbit that I want. I do not want a polar orbit. Can I can I change this? Yes, I can. All right, that's that's good. If I'm not. All right, let's let's change that after we we've already gone to Jewel because I I don't want to fix that all over again. Because 109 is, is pretty perfect, actually, so... Now let's go ahead and jump into the jewel system. Hello, Val. Hello, Lathe. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty darn close. 
Okay, I, I hope this works out for arrow breaking. I don't... <laughs> I don't actually know how... Let's go ahead and look at Jewel since we're already here. It's a good thing we don't have deadly re-entry or anything. Hello, Jewel. There you are. There's Lathe! Gilman Kerman. Actually, one of our Gilmans is on Lathe currently inside of his rover. So let's, uh... Dip into the atmosphere then, shall we? Oh, there's there's Val. Goodbye, Val. Okay, there we go. Orbital. Okay. Jewel is really freaking big. Oh, I'm freaking out. We are going to plunge through this thing's atmosphere, and it's going to be awesome. I'm just going to speed it up, and we should be hitting it any moment now. There it is. There's Jules' atmosphere. We have our entry effects. And hopefully what this is doing is it's slowing us down. Our surface speed is indeed decreasing. And as we go lower... Actually, maybe maybe I should turn off my SAS. Because I don't... Is this going to be enough to capture us? I think so. Aero capture should be working fine. Hopefully, maybe... That's frightening, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine, don't worry, our poor little probe. You will be absolutely all right, I promise you. Arrow capture? Yeah, we're, we're totally gonna get arrow captured. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Oh gosh, camera angles. There's Val over there. I really wish camera angles wouldn't suddenly change when we're in orbit. That would be amazing. Oh my goodness. Are we going to crash into Jewel? That would be really cool if we didn't do that, actually. If, if this continues to... Oh no. This is not good. This is, this is not good at all. Um, we're, we're gonna start burning. <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna start burning and try try to keep our our apoapsis outside of Jules' atmosphere because if it gets if it gets within Jules' atmosphere we're totally screwed come on <laughs> oh no don't let this arrow capture end in, in death and destruction that that would not be good at all please please get out of the atmosphere no <laughs> oh what have I done Oh no, that was way too low. That was way, way, way too low. Oh, oh no. Hurry. Get out. Get out. Oh, what have I done? Oh, so much Delta V. So much Delta V I've, I've wasted. Maybe I should have tried to do uh, arrow breaking on, uh, on Lathe instead. Oh, don't let this episode end with... Get out of the atmosphere, dude! <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Well, we are we are climbing out of the atmosphere. We're we're still losing orbital velocity, but we may <laughs> we may actually be able to save this. We may not have enough time to actually get to Val, but. Come on, get out of the atmosphere. I think it starts at 135 kilometers. <laughs> oh man. I should have used one of those Delta V calculators. Not Delta V calculators, uh, arrow breaking calculators online. Yeah, there are plenty of those. I should have used one of those. Oh man, look how small this orbit is. Oh god. Okay, okay, our, our velocity is increasing again. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Um, we're not completely out of the atmosphere yet, I don't think, but I don't really trust it, so we're going to continue burning. 
Alright, I think we're out of the atmosphere. Yes. Yes, we are. Alright, so we're just going to spin around here to our AP. And we're going to do this very, very cautiously. Yes. Very, very cautiously going around to the AP. We're going to extend our PE. Because we made it to Jewel. Oh, man. <laughs> that was close. We did indeed save our satellite, and we have plenty of fuel left, so I'm sure that we can get to Val. It's just a question of... How? We have to fix our orbit, that's for sure. It's definitely very, very, very inclined. Ridiculously inclined. But I have faith that we can fix that, no problem. Let's just get here to the AP and I'm going to turn on our RCS, which we have plenty of. Yes, we do. RCS is amazing. This stuff is like great. I don't know why I never used it before. Probably because because I was a noob. I didn't know what I was doing. All right, and that's outside the atmosphere. I do believe. Very good. Alright, so I'm going to leave that there, and how to get an intercept with Val? Let's set Val as our target. How much, how much delta V? That's 111 degrees of inclination. Holy crap. 111 degrees. Let's see if we can fix this. Is that going the right way? Yes, it is. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna try to fix this. And the answer is no. That That is definitely going to make us leave the jewel system, which is sort of amazing. Wow, that's 7,000. What? I don't even understand. All right, so definitely I can't do this on camera. I'm going to do this off camera, and then we're going to finish this up and get to Val in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program. So I apologize for my insane mistake that I just made. But thank you very much for watching this episode so far. Be sure to come in for the next episode so that you can see us actually get to Val and get into orbit around it. My name is Megnius. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.